you are at a cafe in Poland and you want to order delicious Polish pastries called pączki. You should say, mam ochotę na pączki, zamówię pączki. I have a craving for pastries, I will order some pastries. But you say to your friend, mam ochotę na paczki, zamówię paczki. I have a craving for packages, I will order packages. The expression paczki in this cafe situation is obviously wrong. To avoid such mistakes in speaking and in writing, you should pay attention to diacritic marks in Polish. Why does the Polish language have diacritic marks? The Polish alphabet is based on the Latin alphabet. However, Polish language has many more sounds than the Latin alphabet has letters. Many diacritic marks and letter combinations are used to represent these Polish sounds. Which letters have diacritic marks? 11 Polish letters have diacritic marks, hooks, slashes, and dots. And they are O, N, C, N, S, Z. This letter has two names, okreskowane, O with a slash, or uzamknięte, closed U, but the phonetic sound of this letter is U. L, Z, J, J. Why is it important to write all the necessary diacritic marks? The letters with diacritic marks represent the following sounds. The nasal O is pronounced as in French expression bon. The nasal N is pronounced as in French expression vin. C as in cheese. Nie as in onion. Ch as in sheep. Z as in lingerie. U as in pool. W as in win, R as in pleasure, J as in G, G as in jam. Is it allowed to omit diacritics? Absolutely not. The diacritic marks cannot be omitted from the letters O, N, C, N, S, Z, okreskowane, E, U, Z, J, J. What happens if the diacritic marks are omitted? If the diacritic marks are omitted from the letters O, N, C, N, S, Z, okreskowane, E, U, Z, J, J, then they represent different sounds. For example, the nasal O spelled as A sounds as A in car, and so on. If the diacritic marks are omitted from the letters O, N, C, N, S, Z, okreskowane, E, U, Z, J, J, then a word acquires a different meaning. Town this that is a demonstrative feminine pronoun singular in the accusative case. Te is also a demonstrative pronoun but it's in plural. It means these, those. This is accusative, plural and nominative plural. Describing non-verbal nouns. Sound, court judgment, sad and orchard. Count, an angle corner, cat, executioner, headsman. Yo is a pronoun which means her in the accusative case, but ya is a subject pronoun that means I in the nominative case. Lang, idler, land, flex. Wava means bench. Lava is lava. Waska, Grace, Laska, again. The critics in Polish cannot be omitted because an expression will be pronounced differently, pączki versus paczki, and the meaning will change. Pączki, pastries, paczki, packages. Therefore, it is very important to write all the necessary diacritic marks in the letters O, M, J, N, S, Z, okreskowane, E, U, Z, J, J.